Good morning beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is Alicia Becker Parchment and this is HR Talks with Alicia where we talk all things HR join me on this journey to success as a young HR professional finding her way within the industry to try and reach to the top if you're new here welcome to the HR Talks with Alicia community please could you like comment subscribe and click that notification bell so that you are always notified every single time i post a video and without further ado let's get into today's video so guys today's video is basically a day in the life of a hr professional but just organizing and resetting for the next month i've realized that in may i was slacking differently i haven't posted for three weeks and i said to myself okay alicia it's time to fix up you know that saying that if you work consistently and you're disciplined for like the next six months that can set you up for the next five years of your life so that's what i'm trying to do now so i'm going to take you along with me today we're going to be filming we're going to be i'm going to the gym first that's where i'm going now and then when i get back i need to tidy my room i need to clean up my car usually i do a reset on sunday but today is bank holiday monday and i don't have anything planned yet we'll see if someone wants to hollow me then i might go out i don't know um but yeah so i'm gonna clean up my car um and then i'm also going to reset and reschedule everything look back on the goals from this well we're still in may so this month um and see what i can improve for the start of june because june's tomorrow basically and see where i'm at with the goals that i've set up to now because technically we are midway through the year already can't believe it it's crazy um but yeah i just really want to i want to change up the way i do things because i feel like I, I talk about planning so much and within myself i feel like i don't do it properly like i've got it in my head but like i don't do it the action's not always there so i'm really gonna try something different i really didn't want to record today i don't know why but i said let me just pick up the camera and let's go guys as well i'm really really trying to get to 500 subscribers yeah so my goal is to get to 500 subscribers in june but i know that i have not been consistent so it is kind of my fault that we haven't even got to 400 yet but yeah i really want to get to 400 first we literally just need about 50 more subscribers and then we're at 400 subscribers like listen that is a milestone in itself wow but yeah i know that this channel can grow exponentially um i'm gonna put the work in so don't worry about that because i need to change up the way i'm doing things i've got like i had things in mind for this month and i haven't even released them um so i'm gonna see what i can do um but yeah let's please can we get to 400 subscribers i love you guys thank you so much for the support and everything stuff in Asda because I need some bananas and I don't have anything in my smoothie so yeah sorry I look so rough oh my god I look horrible <laughs>
hey guys so basically you've just seen everything that i've done up to this point i have had my breakfast showered um tidied my room and now i'm going to clean up my car and then once i clean up my car i'm going to go to costa literally do my whole reset of the, the month and just trying to like organize myself for june so yeah it's really hot in my car like whew, it's so warm today it's like I think it's like 19 degrees now but because my car is like really dark gray like just it just attracts a lot of heat so i'm very very hot right now so i'm gonna just yeah i'm gonna start cleaning and just take you with me guys it's a beautiful day today thank god for this day honestly like usually bank holidays are so cold so i'm just thankful for this nice beautiful day um so i'm about to go into costa now because i really want to just reset for the month as i've been saying and um i'll just talk you through like some of the systems that i use to try and like get myself together evaluate what's happened in may and what we want to improve what we want to do in june where we want to go because honestly i'm trying to do like big things real big things right now um i think by the end of the year i've got some massive goals that i want to achieve so we're going to set this like we're just going to set it up now so that i can achieve those goals in the future okay let me just show you the beautiful day the sun is shining look how beautiful it is outside so this is actually the first time that i've come to costa in like a long long time because i've realized that at home i don't really concentrate on um what i need to be doing so i thought let me go to a different environment maybe costa would be perfect for me this is literally just five minutes from my house and i'm just gonna sit here and try and set my goals as i've said i'm gonna show you like some of the ways that i'm trying to like the questions i'm gonna ask myself like for the next month what i want to achieve and where i want to get to so yeah so basically i'm using um i can't even hear myself right now I'm using Notion to help me establish what went well last month, what didn't go so well and how I'm going to improve in tuning. So as you can see, um, I've got my first goal is YouTube and um, I did post a couple of videos last month, answered comments and queries from subscribers if I had anything coming in, um, but what didn't go so well is that I didn't post consistently um, and my engagement was lower on average so um, how I'm going to improve that is I'm going to plan content ahead of time and film four videos like on a Saturday at the start of the month so then I'll have like a video for each week and plan content throughout the week and make sure I'm doing my editing and things so I've actually noticed that if you look at like all my other goals um, consistency is what didn't go so well last month like last month was a bit of a rocky month for me i don't know i felt very demotivated last month i felt like i just couldn't achieve anything so i kind of just left everything but that's obviously going to change this month and then as you can see as well with instagram i just started um, an instagram page a couple months ago and i have put like some content up but i haven't and it was receiving great engagement but i need to keep up with the consistency of that um, I also need to think of other creative ways to create content to engage with the audience so like posting on stories and the feed is what I already do but maybe I need to start making some reels um, and just thinking of different ways to communicate with you guys um, and yeah I just want to make maybe more engaging content and use different applications within Instagram that can create more engagement just so that my page is actively being looked at and used in the right way um, then I've got fitness goals so fitness has been going quite well actually um, I did go to the gym consistently for five days a week for the first couple of weeks at the start of May but then I kind of slapped a little bit so I only went two days out of the week um, towards the end of 
the month which for me is slacking because I'm trying to go five days a week only for about half an hour just because I'm trying to build a habit first and then once I've built that habit of going gym five days a week for half an hour then I can build it up to like maybe 45 minutes and so on so on I also want to drink two litres of water a day because it's just important to drink water so yeah in terms of my spiritual life um, I'm praying and reading the bible I've been doing that um, in the last month but I haven't been doing it as consistently as I'd like to so I really just want to put the consistency because within my spiritual life for me personally if I don't have control of that then everything else doesn't really work out and maybe that's why everything else wasn't really working out this month because I just wasn't really in control of that and then finally I've got my work goals so work goals last month onboarding went really well and contributing to the sustainability of the tree so we have like this page um, in our inter internal communications where we um, communicate um, aspects of sustainability so that others within the company can see and maybe listen to podcasts, TED Talks, whatever. Um, so that's something I've been starting to do. So I'm kind of happy with the contribution that the first initial one I made and the onboarding. So many people have come into the company and I've been thankful for the way that they've been onboarded. So that's what went well. And then what hasn't gone well is I've got quite a few tasks that are outstanding. And that's because um, a lot of the time when I get like emails and things, I'll pick up the email straight away and then I'll leave whatever I'm doing behind and that's not the way forward. Um, don't follow me because that's not how you do it. Um, so I'm trying to like kind of get better at scheduling my time at work and just thinking of new ways to do that. So yeah, this is basically a few of my goals that I'm trying to achieve and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put what I'm saying here into action. So now for the next like a um, couple hours or so I'm just going to be in cluster and I'm just going to just get down to how I need to do this and how I'm going to go about it um, and come away with just a fresh mind of how this month is going to go but this is just like an initial brain dump first of all before I go into the, the deeper details. just planning some new content for the youtube channel and i've just finished like a content plan so this is really good for me um i think that i'm done with it to be honest yeah this is really good for me i think that i'm done with it so basically like i'm gonna record this video and another video so i'm gonna make another content plan in a second um or the channel for this month so stay tuned for this start to answer answering hr interview questions i think it's going to be a really good video and i'm going to spend quite a bit of time trying to like edit it and make it the best it possibly can be okay so now i'm going to take a quick stop at asda again because um this morning can you believe that like, my phone died and i didn't have a card on me so i couldn't buy the bananas this morning so i'm gonna go and buy the bananas now so i'm about to film some content for my youtube channel um i'm gonna try and film two videos today so literally this video is gonna be going up on the 7th of june i think wait first I don't even know when Saturday is this week. Basically, this video is going to go up on the first Saturday of June. And then um, I'm filming two more videos. So one video is going to go up the week after that. And then the other the week after that. And then I'm also doing a day in your life tomorrow. So, guys, there is a lot of content coming. And please make sure as well that you're commenting down below. And let me know what kind of content you want to see as well. Because I will also incorporate that into my plan of making content i think it would be really cool if you could see me whilst i'm filming the other videos but unfortunately i do not have 
um, another camera to use to do that. I've only got my phone and obviously my phone is recording this. So I'll probably put in a few snippets of the other videos that are going to be uploaded this month just so you can have a snippet of what I'm doing today. So I like to use the star technique to explain my experience within my part-time role. So I worked at Fireflies and I'm basically going to tell you about the experiences that I had there and I will link them back to the HR intern role because that's what I think it's really important that you show how that's going to transfer into the new role that you're applying to and it shows that you've read the job description because you know what they're offering and you know the skills you have and what you can do to make sure that you hit those targets within the new role. Hey guys, um, I'm really, really, really bad with ending vlogs. I don't know what it is, but I literally realised that I didn't end my vlog properly. And we're in the future now, we're a few days in the future, and yeah, I didn't end my vlog. So, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my vlog. It ends right here. Unfortunately, I didn't actually film any more, but I hope that what I have filmed is useful and you enjoy watching my day in the life. And I'll see you in my next video. Yeah.